If you are not weighing yourself every single day, then how can you know whether you're making progress or not? My name is Harry Cox and I am the owner of Club Q, which is a private personal training gym here in central London. And today we're gonna to be running through why weighing yourself every single day will improve your results, why weighing daily is better than weighing in weekly or monthly, and also the most effective method for weighing yourself to produce the most accurate results. So why is weighing yourself important and how exactly is it going to help you make better progress? There are two main ways in which weighing yourself every single day will help you make better progress. First of all, it acts as a feedback tool. It is often quite challenging to look in the mirror on a daily basis, a weekly basis, or even a monthly basis and assess how good our physique progress has been. However, if we have numerical data by which we can cross-reference with, we can therefore make better decisions based on that data. Weighing yourself can actually also be incredibly motivating. Oftentimes I have found myself looking in the mirror, not really being able to figure out whether I've made any progress progress, actually maybe even thinking I'm not making any progress. However, then I can look at the scales and I can see, oh, I've lost two or three kilos in the past month and therefore I must have made progress in that time. Now, why do I think weighing in every single day is better than weighing in weekly or monthly? There are two main reasons for this. First of all, weighing in every single day will desensitize the occasion of weighing in. Oftentimes when you have these clubs where you go and you weigh in every single week and it's this big event. Oh my gosh, I really hope I've lost weight this week. You put so much pressure on yourself to lose weight on a weekly basis that it can actually be quite stressful. However, if you're weighing every single day, first of all, it will be unreasonable to expect to see change on a daily basis. So you almost devalue the actual numerical data, but you also just get more practice on stepping on the scales and it all of a sudden becomes far less intimidating. Daily weigh-ins are also far more effective because they will account for fluctuations. Our weight can fluctuate for a variety of reasons, hormones, fluid intake, meal timings. If you weigh yourself every single day, you then have a week's worth of data which you can average out. So you can look on a week by week basis and being able to draw an average for the end of the week allows us to account for those fluctuations. So you want to start weighing yourself to start making better progress. What is the best way to do so? I have a very simple three-step process. Step one, you wake up. Step two, you go to the bathroom. And step three, you step on the scales. So this means that you step on the scales at the same time before any intake of fluids or food, which will allow for the most consistent result on a daily basis. I advise people to keep their scale next to the toilet. So after they've finished going to the bathroom in the morning, they can simply step straight on the scale. That way you don't forget and you will get the most consistent reading. So whilst I do think Think weighing yourself every single day is very, very valuable. Remember, it's not the be all and end all. And it's very important to cross reference it with other feedback tools, such as physique photos, such as gym performance. Cross reference all these data points, and that will help you make the best decisions going forwards and keep you motivated on your fitness journey.